Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is going to be a little bit more of an in-depth um, review um, of the truck. This is a uh, 2019 Tundra TRD Pro in Voodoo Blue. Um, it is uh, my first truck. Uh, had it now for a couple months. I already have um, 30... 700 miles on it or so give or take um, Average miles per gallon on this thing so far uh, has been right at uh, 16 16 miles per gallon um, That's average uh, you get more on the highway you get as high as I've seen 17 on the highway, but uh, It seems like 16 is the number um, for this particular model um, bought this thing straight from the dealership uh, ordered it it took um, three months or so to get um, out the door price tax title license and everything here in uh, Texas was right at 56,000 and change um, as equipped it pretty much has all the uh, the options the only option that I did not choose or go for is the um, spray and bed liner I uh, didn't see any value in that we'll talk about it here when we uh, get to the trunk area of course as you can look at as you've been looking at is the Fox just Fox uh, suspension uh, it is awesome um, very very car like compliant smooth um, I go up underneath here and look at some more at the skid plates uh, like I said this is about uh, 3,700 miles worth of driving it's got the 38 gallon gas tank uh, the gas tank itself uh, seems to be giving me about oh I don't know 500 miles or so uh, this breaks all the way around 500 miles until um, you have to um, refill it and then when you do refill it the crazy thing is um, the crazy thing is is uh, you still have about 10 gallons left uh, four wheel disc brakes I don't know if I mentioned that all the way around dual exhaust um, talk about that a little later spare tire so anyways uh, 500 miles or so range and then uh, it forces uh, it asks you to fill it up and then it uh, oh, and then it complains and then once you fill it up you find out you still have 10 gallons of um, fuel left plenty of range the tonneau cover that I chose is the um, Paragon. I did a video on that. You can go and check it out. Um, the reason I chose it is because once you remove this section of it, um, you're left with just the rails. See how that, for security reasons, how it goes in there and you can't really jack it up. Uh, like the backflip and some of the other ones that have plastic, this one folds in. I did the video already, but I chose it because this is lightweight easy to remove very quick it's the cheapest one in the market all aluminum no plastic well it's made for the rubber here um, great cover going back to the uh to the bed of the truck um i chose not to do the spread in bed liner go any truck out there that's been sitting out in the sun for 10 years or so or whatever and all the um not all of it but your spray and bed liner is starting to chip and fall off. So I chose not to do that. Yeah, it's going to get scratched, but um, who cares? Um, it's a truck. It's not really, I don't really use it as a truck truck per se. Is more of a, now we're going to start doing adventures with it. Start doing trips. I bought it because I needed a truck. But uh, now it gives us an excuse to do um, trips in. Um, bed rug. 
super soft. I don't know. I don't know if I recommend it to you, but I like it. Um, everybody has different reasons for buying a truck. So really quick, this is the uh, plug-in for the um, trailer. And of course it comes with the, um, it's like 9,800 pounds. <laughs> with my brother's truck, his is a 2010. I towed 12,000 pounds with it. Don't recommend it, but I did it. Towed a uh, tractor up to the to my little farm I have up in Arkansas from Dallas. Um, let's see here. I'll be crying out loud. All right, in the back, um, leather, super durable. It has the. Um, TRD Pro red stitching on it. Uh, of course, this comes up, both sides come up. Put boxes and stuff in there. Center armrest, uh, two cup holders, nothing comes up, Can't, no storage. Uh, space, this is all the way back. That one's up a little bit because he's sitting there. Um, plenty of room. Uh, seats raked back. Um, Let's see here on his side. If you want, if you come on this, it um, has even more leg room. This comes with a connectivity package on the TRD Pro. Uh, two plugs over here and some things. I don't know if that's, if that's worth it, but um, in the front, uh, looking forward, um, sunroof. I'm going a little bit here when I get inside. In the front here, uh, it's going to have the TRD Pro badging. Uh, obvious mod that we did is the uh, pool ball number seven matches the um, the stitching, and I like it. I've been it's something I've been doing for a while. Might not be to your taste, but you can leave the original in there. I chose not to. Um, leather all the way around. All right, let's go to the front. Stitching it again. The TRD Pro is getting dirty. Um, uh, badging on that TRD Pro badging on the uh, on the seat itself. Um, getting in. <sighs> Let's see here. A um, couple of mods. Okay, so coming off. Here we go. This is the. Um, let me turn this thing on. Uh, key, normal key, no push start. Um, anyway, sunglass holder, you got your lights, you push lights on and off. Uh, how do you turn this one on, buddy? Oh, I see. This and this. Sunroof has a tilt feature. There you go, it tilts up so you can let this, the heat out in the summer. And uh, opens up. Has a little wind deflector. Um, wind deflector. Um, what else? Sun visors, two of those. You want to show how the... Uh... Yeah, so the one thing I really like about this car that not a lot of other cars have is, so let's oh. say the sun is in your face, you just do that. The only problem is the sun is over here. So all I have to do is just extend it. And like it a trombone. Mm -hmm. Both sides, they do the same thing. See that? Kind of go up in and out. Which I think is kind of cool. Very few cars have that nowadays, seems like. Microphone for the speaker. Uh, you wanna close it? Yep. One button push close. Um, okay, coming across, stitching. Red matches this red. Um, radio is just a plain radio. Um, uh, plain radio, air conditioning is just simple, dirt simple, never break. I'm not gonna go into it. Uh, if your center, if your center colossal Tesla style radio breaks, you'll have no control over air conditioning, no control over the radio, no control over the vents, no control over anything. I mean, your whole car will end up being a brick. Um, this is dirt simple, separated, no automatic anything. Uh, brake, the trailer uh, tow package, um, uh, skid control. You can turn that off if you want to do donuts. Uh, tow haul button gives you a little bit better. It's kind of cool. You drive it around with a tow haul with a tow light tow haul light on. 
it gives you a, I think it remaps the um, the throttle and it's kind of like I don't know a little sports car I guess um, I don't do that uh, the vents are just rotary you can set them up dirt simple as well center stack right now it's saying I'm getting um, 17 uh, or so miles per gallon 14.1 miles per gallon we'll talk a little bit about that it's got safety sense on it um, it's got lane departure uh, tells you about the radio I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more on the it's got 3770 miles um, coming across this is kind of a cool feature it's the only car that does this as far as I know all the way down the whole back window very airy I think super cool um, mirrors it also has the um, the um, I'm not sure what you call this but uh, it's a uh, so if you have your your um, back loaded up with heavy things you can adjust the beam so uh, you don't blind people parking brake um, mirrors and uh, your windows it's auto down only on on the driver's side and of course you have to hold it otherwise if you don't hold it up it won't doesn't come up and there are, the rest are just manual um, the uh, glove compartment it's kind of small but it's fine yeah kind of small barely fit a dead cat in there another feature these two other features i really like is this little tiny cubby hole so you can put like a wallet or something in there when you're doing a long road trip true true Where's your phone? yeah a little pocket eh? on the other side and um, another feature i really like so let's say well you're being blinded by the sun and you're like i wonder where my phone is and you check under here and you forgot but you left your phone in here well, Toyota designed it to where there's a small, little tiny groove that it fits in. So if you do this, it'll stay. Look at so that. It just stays. Isn't that cool? How cool that. is that? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it stays up right there. Oh, there's oh, my phone. There's, there's your you. phone. Um, also, we did um, yeah, the um, safe so you can lock your valuables in there. Um, we did a video on that already. I'm not going to go into it. Uh, plenty of room uh, underneath here. Right. Um, plenty of room plenty 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 of room to, to stuff it full of junk we did a wireless charger again the video um, you can look on our past videos um, so when you place it in it charges um, can't, really tell right now can't tell because it's on but anyway it is charging right now uh, okay so let's go ahead and take it on a on a drive uh, real quick Okay, one of the coolest things right off the bat I'm gonna I'm gonna um, uh, discuss is uh, the turning radius. This thing is crazy. It is um, it borders small cars. Uh, I have a Lexus RX350, which is a little sedan, and it turns within a foot. I would say, I mean, it's <laughs> within a foot of. Uh, of its uh, turning capability so it's not truck like or SUV or um, 18 wheeler like you know where it takes you 300 spaces to turn in uh, we're gonna hit a couple of speed bumps here Hi, I'm gonna whoa I'm gonna hit that big one that's okay we'll just hit this one uh, the Fox shocks are extremely um, uh, compliant and uh, they absorb um, bumps like speed bumps more so than any other uh, truck that I've driven. Uh, my brother and a buddy of mine, they both have the Tundras, and uh, when you hit bumps with their cars, it's significantly more pronounced, uh, speed bumps and stuff like that. Um, this thing has a 5.7 liter, six-speed transmission. Engine's been around forever. Uh, super smooth in the shifting. Um, I know a lot of trucks now are going with 10-speed. Maybe Tundra will do that on the next one. Get a little bit better gas mileage, but uh, the engine, I hope they never mess with. This engine has been around forever. Extremely reliable, YouTube million mile Tundra, and it'll tell you all about the crazy reliability of these, uh, of these trucks. It is phenomenal. No other car, no other truck, as far as I know, manufactured by Chevy, Dodge, ah, uh, Dodge or Ford that will even get close to that with the minimal amount of maintenance. You just have to do it. If I tell you, you won't believe me. Just million mile Tundra and you're gonna find everything about it. 
half a tank, 14.1 miles per gallon. Um, it's just a truck, I don't know what to tell you. It's not my Chevy Volt, if you want fuel economy, this is not it. You know, you don't buy a $60,000 truck and complain about fuel economy. Um, this is not my everyday driver. I drive a uh, Chevy Volt, which is an electric plug-in car that gets, I don't know. I think lifetime right now, I'm at 250 miles per gallon, so. Gonna get on here and uh, the um, one of the couple things that I was worried about was um, the color. Um, I don't, you know, it's a color that you're gonna have to see in person to appreciate. I cannot talk about it and tell you. If you like blue or if you, you know, um, if you don't mind a blue color, this this color when you see it in person, it is uh, that much nicer. I recommend it. I, I I bought it, you know, sight unseen. I just uh, ordered it, and uh, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't like it, but uh, you know, it's all his fault. Yep. I'm happy to say it's my fault because I like this truck a lot. Yeah. There's another uh, taco ma. That looks nice. Anyways, uh, the exhaust. That's another thing that probably some of you are worried about. Um, this exhaust, a buddy of mine has a Ford F-150 with like a Borla exhaust on it. Loud. It's loud all the time. It's loud when he idles. It's loud going down the highway. It's loud when it's off. I'm kidding. But it is just always loud when that thing is running. Um, this one, Toyota did an awesome job. When your foot's down like this, you can hear it, but when it's idling, or just lumping around doing 60 miles an hour at 1200 rpm you won't even hear it this car is super super quiet going down the highway doing trips in it uh it's not annoying um the um the, the tires you know i think i'm going to leave the the stock tires on here for now and i'll make a decision later on down the road but uh no noise no noise you know you, you see these cars with their uh, larger tires and I don't know why it does it maybe somebody can put it down in the description but you hear this and you can hear it like when the guys like 100 feet behind you get that one 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 and they go by you one 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 you know it's got that train look sound to it like annoying this car is quiet now I don't know it's because of balancing issues or whatever but um some of the other features is the radio um this is just a normal radio. Uh, Toyota and the TRD Pros decided not to put the JBL system in there. Uh, it sounds very, very nice, regardless of. Um, my son's gonna play, uh, this is a song that, just kind of give you an idea of what the radio sounds like. This is a song that, it's on YouTube. He, um, um, Here you go. That's a song that I recorded. Uh, he was playing it. Yep. Such a musical talent. Uh, the radio, it's fine. It's fine. You know, whatever. They decided not to put the JBL system. Maybe it sounded just, you know, that ever so slightly better. Um, whatever. Doesn't have that. It doesn't have lane departure. Uh, but oh, no, I'm sorry, lane departure. Blind spot monitoring. Whatever. Um, you're not gonna have any blind spots 
uh, on this truck. It's visibility out of it's fantastic. If you hit somebody, it's because you weren't looking. Uh, but if you look, yeah, you know, you can get a general idea of what it looks like, you know, this way and that way. It's the visibility is is awesome out of this truck. It really is. Um, it drives very car like, not truck like. I mean, I've driven trucks in the past. Um, uh, it doesn't also have the backup sonars. This one have it? Nah, no, he doesn't. Yeah, so they, they decided not to put the, the backup sonars uh, on the TRD Pro, only on some of their other ones, lesser models. Cheaper models, I guess I should say, the 18, 17. This is the most expensive Tundra right now, as far as I know. Um, like I said, mine was 56,000 and change out the door. Um, so, anyways, other features this thing has. Uh, lane departure. So right now it's on. So if you don't signal, anybody's here? Nobody's here. Okay, so as you approach this, the it beeps at you. And it beeps on you in both directions. I don't know if you live by, I don't wanna hit the curb. But anyways, 3,777 miles, 3777. Yeah. Anyways, um, so it beeps at you and it turns red. It's kind of annoying. I don't know, I mean, I keep it on. It's all good. Uh, it's got cruise control uh, with the safety sense uh, radar. You turn it on, it says radar ready, you turn it on, and it gives you three bars. Uh, you can change it to where it reacts. It'll go from, uh, uh, they're just preset distances. Uh, usually when I cruise uh, down the highway, I just do it in the one bar, so it gives me. Otherwise, it slams on the brakes and starts slowing down way in advance. Um, faster than I can uh, think, at least anyways. Um, also, if you have the cruise set on 75 miles per hour, um, and you're coming up to a light or you're coming up to slower traffic, it'll keep the distance between you and the car in front of you. And as that car slows down, so will you. And it'll come down from 75 all the way down to like four or five miles per hour. Uh, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't believe it'll come to a full stop. Or if anybody pulls out in front of you, like this guy in his Jeep were to pull out in front of me, the car will slam on the brakes. It'll go full tilt, um, anti-lock brakes. Uh, what else can I talk about? Of course, the windshield wipers, non-automatic. Uh, the headlights, uh, LED headlights. Um, the rigid, this is kind of cool. Uh, my brothers and all the other Tundras that I have, it. the rigid fog lights. I highly recommend you get those if you don't get a TRD Pro and change it out. It is so cool. So when you have the lows on and the rigid fog lights on, it lights up both like if you're down going down a, a rural uh, two-lane highway it'll light up so you can see deer in the ditches and stuff it's crazy how it lights up the ditches extremely nicely so you can see what's you know what's going to come traverse across uh, your path at nighttime and the led headlights bright white and it lights up your world um it's fantastic um course you know it only comes on the 2019s I'm not sure if you can retrofit your older truck to it um, the grab handle this thing was not as uh, wasn't a part of the truck this thing is off of a Sequoia we did a video on that already I like it um, I don't have steps on the side of my truck I might get rock sliders later probably not I don't know but this is nice to get in and out of you just grab a hold of this simple mod we did it already in one of our past videos um, of course, this thing has for your garage door openers, and um, which I think is nice. You can set it up for up to three garage doors. Um, okay, what else here we got? We have um, oh the uh, the headlights. They um, they auto dim, so you can have it on full blast uh, brights, and as soon as it sees an oncoming car, they'll automatically dim. And I think that's kind of cool too. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. we got some more things coming. Uh, if you're watching this video, like later on, right now it's still January or beginning of February. Uh, we're planning on doing why more in-depth as to why I chose to buy this instead of... I really wanted a Ford Raptor. Um, but that video is coming up here in the next couple days or a week or so. Why more in-depth? And I'll give you my ideas as to why maybe you should not consider the Raptor. 
Um, I'm not saying not by Ford, I'm saying the Raptor, anyways. Um, this right now, it's mostly our videos are like how-to videos and stuff like that. We're gonna transition more to a vlog style where we're gonna start doing more trips. Um, uh, like I said, this thing, we're gonna hook it up to, or, or rig it up to do um, um, trips with and overlanding. Um, I might do, uh, that's another Tundra. That's a beautiful Tundra, looks like, just like my brothers. Look at that thing. Mm-hmm. Um, more overlanding, we're gonna start doing trips through. I was planning on doing one this, um, this coming um, summer, but my vacation didn't work out, so. Uh, but we'll have time to do short trips up to Colorado, Nevada, maybe up to Oregon, Washington area, and uh, Idaho and whatnot. Um, anyways, guys, like, subscribe, let us know what you think um, um, about the Tundra. I love it. It's absolutely awesome car. I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna do one more, one more walk around just to kind of give you a general idea of what it looks like. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it on running. This is what it looks like with the driving lights. The LED. Um, absolutely awesome i can't even describe how uh, how excited i am with this color and the whole thing the subdued uh, trd pro badging is um i already had a few people ask me uh, on this this is uh, only to the uh, voodoo blue um voodoo blue um, package otherwise it comes with red and whatever um Let's see here, if I get up here, kind of give you a general idea what it. Built in Texas by Texans, which are the coolest people in the world, Texans. Um, bad, I can't say anything bad, bad about this truck. I absolutely love it. Gas mileage is fantastic for a huge truck like this. It really is, 16 miles per gallon. You know, you don't spend $60,000 on a truck and then complain about gas mileage. You know, I guess people complain about gas mileage in a Ferrari, but um, I absolutely love it. Uh, I, you know, I, at first I didn't care much about the, the hood scoop, but it kind of gives it character. Um, anyways, guys, hope you enjoy this video. More mods and more videos coming up. Like and subscribe. Later.